Hey Carrie Crew, welcome back for a, another video. Today we are in the kitchen cooking with HelloFresh. I switched it up this month, so you guys always see me get the calorie friendly option from HelloFresh. And if you guys are new around here, HelloFresh is an at home delivery meal service. They have options for family friendly, kid friendly, calorie friendly, and vegetarian. So I decided to switch it up and I did vegetarian this month. This is the meal that I'm making in today's video. And these are the other two. I cannot wait to make them. They look delicious. The holiday season is coming up and we're all trying to save more time. The average time in the grocery store is 41 minutes. That's being nice because I usually spend about an hour and a half in there. Even if I'm going in there for three things, I'll leave with 20. So you get to skip going to the grocery store, you save time and you get every ingredient needed to make chef curated meals right at home. All the food comes in pre-portioned out ingredients, so you're not wasting any food. And my favorite part about it is how flexible it is. You can always change your meal preferences, you can change your delivery day, and you can even skip a week at any time. I'm just using the picture that we have right here so I can see what everything's supposed to look like. It's all chopped up, looking tasty. Now we're gonna put our beans in here. I do not recommend wearing a white shirt while doing this. Beans cooking. We have the poblano pepper cooking, salsa made, sour cream made. For my shirt being wet, I tried to get off the stains. I'm not lactating, don't worry. Um, but guys, I think this might be one of my favorite meals. Put this on. Fold this in half. This one's probably done. Oh yes, people, yes. Looks amazing. Of course, I have a great discount code for you guys if you're interested in trying it out. So if you guys are interested in trying out HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code CarrieAnn90. You get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for collaborating with me on this video. This meal did not disappoint. Outdid myself. Amazing. This is definitely one of my new favorite meals. How good does this look? Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Carrie crew, what is up? Welcome back. Today we're starting a three day trip. It's around 5.50 p.m. right now. We have a night flight to Vegas. So one leg to Vegas and we stay there for 12 hours and that's it. That's it for the day, but it is a late night flight. As you guys know, I usually like to work morning flights, but this trip was just too easy and too good that I couldn't pass it up. Get the day started. I am the number two position back galley. And it's been a while since I've worked, so I'm really excited because this is my last month flying. So sad, but we're gonna make it a great one. All right, guys, I'm gonna try something new, and instead of doing music over the scenes, I'm just gonna talk through them and let me know if you guys like it. So I'm arriving at the airport, going inside. This is such a beautiful airport. Out of all the airports, this is definitely my favorite. Okay, so I just got in the plane. You're not gonna believe this. So I went to take the elevator down. I parked on the top level of the garage, the parking garage, and the elevator is broken. So I just bought new heels and they're so high. And I had to walk down the stairs with my heavy bags. I thought I was gonna break my ankle for sure. But the crew's really nice. Uh, it's a four hour flight. We only have 40 people, easy peasy. We do get to do a service though. Download some Netflix shows and set up my galley. So now we have landed in Las Vegas and walking through the terminal, there's always so many things to look at in this airport. So we are just heading down the escalator to walk outside to the van that picks us up to the hotel. All 
right, Carrie crew, we got to the hotel. It is 10.15 here, 1.15 in Philly. That time difference will just kill you. We got here a little bit later than we thought because we were originally brought to one hotel. It wasn't the right one, so then they brought us to the right one, and it's fine. We're here. Um, it was a long flight, 4 hours, 45 minutes, but we hit some weather, so I think it took a little bit longer to get here. It was easy peasy. You know, one flight here, 40 passengers we had, and we did a quick service. We just kind of like hand served everyone, so leave for the airport tomorrow morning at 10. And I am ready to go to bed. I've just been awake for far too long. And I cannot wait to shower, wash off my makeup, and put on my jammies and climb to this bed. Just finishing up my skincare routine and I noticed in my last video I got a lot of comments about these two things. So the first one was the this pink thing that I put underneath my eye. Uh, it brightens your under eye so well. Like you can just see how bright my under eye is. Um, so I'll link this. You can get it on Amazon, Ulta. And then the eyelash and the eyebrow serum that I've been raving about to grow and thicken the eyelash hairs and I put this in my hair too like I'll throw it in my scalp leave it in overnight once a week link this down below too and then I just got it comes in a big something like this size um, so I just get these tubes and I fill it and these were off Amazon too everything was pretty inexpensive to mention that really quickly so that's how the brows are looking 40 I just painted my nails use the Revlon Color 660 Divine. I told myself that I was gonna cut back on spending money on nails. So I'm doing it myself now. I'll fall asleep. So I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Ooh. Guys, I feel like such a rookie. There's this nice little thing over there that you can plug your cords into, Bluetooth speaker, all the good things, alarm. And I almost always check to see if there's an alarm set so it doesn't wake me up and check it and that woke me up. I think it was like 5.30. Uh, such a rookie. It's 7.30 now. I'm about to chug a big glass of water and make some coffee. It really is such a gorgeous day here in Vegas. So nice, so sunny. We just got done getting dressed and ready, and we're about to head out. My van is in 10 minutes, and here is what we are doing today. So we're in Vegas right now, and we're flying to Dallas, and then from Dallas, we're deadheading to Denver, and guess what? It's snowing in Denver, so we are going from beautiful Vegas weather to Denver, and yeah, I brought my coat, so I'm well prepared, but I can't believe we're going into snow. I'm kind of excited about it. Is that weird? But I just love the snow. But our flight from here to Dallas is completely booked, and then our flight to Denver completely booked. So we have a busy day ahead of us. Well, let's go ahead and get it started. We are at the airport in Las Vegas. I love these butterflies. I always think it's so pretty. And then we have to take a train to get to our gate. And here is the beautiful bird. It was a little late coming in, but here she is now. And then we are now in Dallas taking this train to get to our gate. And we're looking around for food to see what is open. I got some pork rinds and then decided to heat up my food and eat it on the plane. We are now landed in Denver and your girl was looking and reminiscing at her old gates from regional where she used to fly into. And I am beyond exhausted. Couldn't even talk to you guys. Literally laid like this for longer than I'd like to admit. Guys, good morning. I didn't check in with you last night. We got in and I was so tired. So yesterday was a really long day. So let me just explain it while I sit here and drink my second cup of coffee. We left Vegas to go to Dallas. And 
in flight we ended up getting stuck into a holding pattern so we arrived to dallas about 40 minutes late and a lot of people missed their connections there was just so much weather it was really turbulent and then when we got to dallas our flight to denver kept getting delayed too so we were supposed to leave out at 7 i think we ended up leaving at like 8 30. So we didn't get in until much later here we were supposed to have a 15 hour layover which i was pumped about because i wanted to wake up this morning and breathe in the crisp air and go for a walk it didn't happen so i finally get to the hotel room and i didn't touch any of my bags or anything i sat down on the chair and opened up my phone and didn't leave the chair for two hours. I don't know why I did that, but I just got warped into my phone because I was so tired and I just, I couldn't move. So finally got up, showered, unpacked everything and was just done. I zoinked out or zonked out. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Now our van time is in 40 minutes and it was it's cold here guys. It is amazing i was really hoping there'd be snow here but it looks like it's all gone um but it's nice and crispy cold that's what happened yesterday it was a very very long day we were all so exhausted it was just the people on the flight from vegas i mean you're coming from vegas they were a little antsy they were all very nice but like they were a little needy and call lights going off everywhere um but it felt like I was working a flight again like it was packed to the gills and it literally felt like I was doing a normal flight but this is my last three day trip for who knows how long all the rest of the month I have two day trips after this so it's just weird land at 5 40 if we don't get delayed I leave out tomorrow morning I have to be at the airport at nine oh, I'm tired just thinking about it okay just spill my coffee all right, I'm gonna get dressed. I keep meaning to show you guys this. I bought new work shoes, I wanna say like a week ago. Why did I do that? Knowing I was getting furloughed, loaded? I don't know. I've been on the hunt for new work shoes and I just could never find them at a price point that I wanted. And then of course I stumble upon them when I'm not gonna be working. But I finally wore them. Um, I just wanted to share them with you guys. I got these from Nordstrom Rack. Um, I usually go for shoes that have a strap, uh, the Mary Jane style, but I thought these were just perfect. I forgot to cut my toenails and so now I'm like bleeding on the inside of my toe and it hurts so bad. Um, but then I also got these flats from Ross. Um, I'll try and find links or similar ones for these if you guys are interested. I got these for $14.99. And I just thought these were perfect. I loved how shiny they were and they're really, really comfy. If I wear these in, I know they'll be really comfy, but I just need to wear them in first. And of course I decided to do that on a three day trip and not bring band-aids. So not really smart on my part. Look how gorgeous it is here. I just, I love Denver. I wish I had lived here. The weather is just stunning. I mean, I can't see any mountains here, so that's a little disappointing, but Oh, I'm gonna miss this job. Fresh mask. Let's get out of here and go home. So here we are getting off the van, waiting for our luggage. It was a cold day in Denver. And here we are walking through the airport. I got a coffee. There's Denver's my second favorite airport out of all of them. But it's always so weird when the escalators don't move underneath us. Do you notice that? And here's the beautiful sky. This site never gets old. I'm literally going to miss it so, so much. Okay guys, so I just got home. It is seven o'clock i didn't check in with you when i got to my car because i took another flight attendant home because she was gonna get an uber and that was just too expensive right now and traffic was insane waiting for ubers um the flight home was easy peasy i leave out again tomorrow morning i have to be at the airport at 9 30 so i'm going to meal prep now wash my uniform repack drink some sleepy time tea and go to bed 
So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you on in our next adventure.